Good evening, everyone. This Hi. Is, <laughs> <laughs> this is my first lightning talk, so go easy on me. And you've had some excellent talks up here before, telling you lots of things. I've come here to ask you a question. What does your ORM cost you? No heckling from Twitter. <laughs> Let's take this classical architecture. Very simple, very straightforward. You've got an ORM. Could be doctoring, could be something else. Doesn't matter what it is. It's an ORM. It's between your application code and the database. What does it cost you? Anybody? What does an ORM cost? It's free. It's free, yeah. <laughs> so it's quite expensive. Okay. Performance and obfuscation of intent. Okay. Learning. Learning. Yeah, well you could, you could, yeah, if you didn't have one, you've got to learn it. Okay. <laughs> right, so it's a learning curve. At least one, yeah. Yeah. What else yeah. does it cost? Anybody else? Good query design. Okay. It costs good query design. That's an interesting one. Anybody else? How many of you actually measure your ORM's costs? How would you measure it? You can't measure it, you can't control it, you can't optimize it and improve it. So how do you measure it? Has anyone measured the cost of their ORM in any sort of metrics at all? Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'd be disappointed if you hadn't. For those of you who don't know, Marco here is one of the uh, core contributors to Doctrine. Um, right. So here's how I go about measuring an ORM. What can we measure? And what we can measure is the activity it, perform it, it actually does. Because when you deploy an application to production, that's when the costs start to hit you. So you get all these things for free with developers. Yes, there's a learning curve to go through. But it's relatively shallow compared to learning SQL for the very first time, which is why RMs have caught on. But when you de start deploying this code off your nice fast MacBook Air, which has a better disk subsystem than most production boxes, and you start putting in production, you start seeing costs. You start seeing performance costs. And if you're on a decent, decent sized project where you've got more than one or two servers, these costs can be crippling. Especially if all your developers are contractors, they've delivered the code and they've buggered off. <laughs> or they're an outside agency and you've got to pay them to fix their own code. <laughs> You know what I'm on about there. <laughs> so let's, let's take this situation. So the first thing we can do, we can introduce some tools. How many of you have ever used MySQL proxy? <laughs> Is this going to be a running theme? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So we can introduce MySQL proxy between the ORM and MySQL. You don't have to modify your code at all. And that's why I'm very interested in tools, tools that don't modify the code, that can see what the code is doing. Now, MySQL proxy, will uh, you point your ORM at the proxy rather than at MySQL, and it can instrument what's going on. It can tell you what it costs to run your code. We can measure the number of SQL queries, the amount of selects being done. ORMs have a reputation for being a bit select happy, rightly or wrongly. We can measure the inserts being done. We can find out how many rows are being returned. Is your, is your ORM making efficient queries, or is it returning too many rows, or too few? How many indexes are being used, or is it using an index at all? On index queries can be a right pain for performance, as hopefully all of you know. And the other thing oh, you can do with MySQL proxy is it will tell you how long each query took. So you can see line by line what the time cost is. So if you've got a particular performance problem with your application, you can hunt down and find where the time's going. It will tell you the exact SQL that you need to go and find out which part of the ORM is generating that and take some remedial action. So these are four things you can measure just by putting MySQL proxy in the way. And that's a good starter. But what else can we measure if we're now thinking about production? Has this generated any new ideas from anybody? No. Okay. The lag from the proxy. The lag from the proxy. <laughs> the lag's not a big deal. No. <laughs> your, ORM, your ORM's written in, probably in PHP, because we're a PHP group. Well, my score proxy's written in C. I don't think it's going to be an issue. There's going to be a lag there, definitely. There's going to be a latency, yes. <laughs> 
but for scaling, latent, it's very rare. How many of you have worked on an application where latency matters? More than I expected. That's good. That's good. I like that. But there's other things we can measure. What about measuring MySQL itself and the impact it's having on this server? We can measure that. We can measure how it's hitting the disk. What's because what's the slowest part of any modern machine that doesn't have an integrated SSD? It's the spinning spinning platters. <laughs> yeah, your network's faster than your disk these days. So we can go and measure that. I wrote a tool years ago that reads Linux slash proc files. It's called Savage D. And it gathers data. And we can install that on the box where MySQL is running. And we can start to see how MySQL is hitting the disk. This does real-time logging. So every second it's putting these stats together. We can send them to Etsy Stats D daemon. How many of you use Stats D? Excellent. So you're familiar with that. So, so Savage D will plug straight into Stats D and we'll send the data to Graphite. And on top of that, Grafana is a very nice dashboard for dealing with um, Graphite's own web UI, and replacing it entirely, in fact, with something that will run on a decent browser. Um, and so we can get real-time stats of what MySQL is doing when your RM is being triggered by your application. So as you run your automated tests, and hopefully all of you are using StoryPlayer to automate your tests, I have to plug it somewhere, um, you can actually see the SQL queries being generated in real time and their costs, and you can see how you're hitting the disks. Read and write. If you want to know more, if you want to know where to get these tools from, how to set them up, come and talk to me in the pub. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>